talk about some of the other things it does. First of all, we have ring offset, which tunes the entirety of the Theravox, both oscillators. That's your master tune. And then you have what is marked oscillator to offset, which just tunes the second oscillator, which allows you cool things like this. So now you can do prog rock. Then we start getting into kind of a synthesizer sound. So you have the ability to tune oscillator two to whatever pitch uh, you like. Let's see what the range is here. I don't need to be doing this. There's a fifth and a fourth. Or yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yes, there's a fair, there's a good range. But you also have the ability to choose the octave. So. Um, you have the ability to basically choose any note in any octave for oscillator two. So let's move on to the octaves. Here are the octaves of oscillator one. There's two foot, four foot, eight foot, 16 foot, 32 foot, and low. And the same is true for oscillator two. Two foot, four foot, eight foot, 16 foot, 32 foot, and low. So then you can make interesting combinations of pitches for each of your oscillator control. And if you're really musically talented, you could do things like create different keys. Um, you could tune the second oscillator to a different key and transpose in whatever way you wanted or whatever. Um, See, now they're out of tune, but. I have those tuned to a third, so that's nice. But then you can change like various. So this is much like, you know, an analog synthesizer that has two oscillators that you can set the individual pitches of and you can offset or detune one of the oscillators. This is also good for creating, you know, um, a, det a detuned sound. Let's put this like both on eight foot. So you have that opportunity, which is very synth-like. But of course, you know, you're performing synth sounds with a different performance interface, which can lead to some really cool outcomes. Okay, let's move on to timbre. You have, how many is it? Six, six different waveforms. Let's listen to them. Here is a sine wave. If you'd like to hear those at all of the different octave settings, there's two foot. Four foot, six or eight foot, sixteen foot. That's not bass. That's nice. Thirty-two foot. Oh wow, that's very nice. And then low. 
which goes down into individual pulses so you can use them as modulation. Yes, that's right. You can use these oscillators for modulation. You do get into the audible range with low. It's just down at the very low end where you can't hear any sound right now. You're actually getting um, LFO waveforms. Okay, so let's do that with the triangle. So that was two foot, this is four foot. Eight foot. Sixteen foot. Thirty-two foot. And low. Here we have a waveform which uh, I've been seeing, I've seen Ben given, it has been given some interesting names, but what it really is, is a rectified sign, which is to say that the part that used to go up is flipped, so it's down. So instead of a hump going up and a hump going down, you're getting down, down, down. Now I'm saying down because that's what's on the graphic. It may be up, 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 but I'm just gonna go by what they have here. So then you get humps. And that's what this is, and it has a really nice sound. Here, let's listen to it. Two foot. There's no sawtooth here, so the bright sound is either the square wave or this rectified sign. Whoops. You were thinking, wow, that is really great, but that was both oscillators, sorry. So it has a bright, pleasant, kind of vocal sound. And then low. Then we have a square wave, your standard square wave. You then have a, another pulse wave that is not square, but closer to square than pulse. I mean, it is pulse. I mean, it's a, it's not a square, because square has to be square. So they're all pulse waves, but any, this is what it sounds like. It has that more pulse-like sound that we associate with what we call a pulse wave. Not quite as reedy though. And then we also do have a what we would normally call a pulse wave, even though all square waves are pulse waves, but whatever. Very like oboe leg here. Did I go all the way? Four foot. Eight foot. Sixteen foot. Thirty-two foot. And low. Okay, and we have the same waveforms for oscillator two, except for instead of the last pulse wave on oscillator two, we have noise. And of course the pitch of noise does not change. So the uh, octave setting makes no difference in regard to the noise. But you do have the ability to do noise and control
you know, annoy sound in the midst of your sound. And of course you can mix oscillators Um, in that. And since I was using the noise source that exists in Oscillator 2 as a rhythmic accompaniment to the melody, I was playing with Oscillator 1, which is really a unique, I mean, who, who does that? That's, it's, you have a lot of interesting performance opportunities with a device like this. But it does take some practice. 